just to get farms. It is a beautiful morning this morning. We finally have some sunshine and it's just a gorgeous morning. It's a little cool, but it's still beautiful. I am just so thankful for this sunshine. We've had nothing but rain and storms. The creek has rose again and this whole bottom pasture is just full of water. But I am just enjoying this beautiful morning out here in the garden in one of my favorite creative spaces, which is right here at this, this table by my garden shed where I can really observe this whole area, the protege, the whole the garden, the, the pasture, the creek. I can just sit here and see and observe wildlife and nature and read and think and just uh, design and create and pray. I thought today would be a lovely day to just give you a tour and tell you all about my garden shed. This is the entrance to my garden shed. I have been planning for this garden shed for a lot of years. I've been pinning things to my idea board on Pinterest and pulling magazine pictures and saving things and collecting things for this garden shed for a long time. We moved to the farm three years ago and a year after that, Jean started building my garden shed for me. I am definitely a dreamer and a visionary and I'm always coming up with ideas and things that I want to do and create. And as cheesy as this sounds, and believe me, I know it sounds really cheesy, but it is true. Jean always, always, since we first started dating, has always done everything within his power and ability to really make my dreams come true. Anything that I'm dreaming of, any ideas that I have, anything that I want to do, he always has done everything that he possibly could do to make that happen for me. And I know I am super blessed and I am super thankful for him. But he is not a contractor, he's not a builder, but when he sets his mind to something and he, he gets his sights set on it, he can pretty much do anything that he sets his mind to. So I showed him um, my, my idea board and my pictures and kind of sketched out how I wanted it to be, what I wanted it to look like and he got busy on it and started building it for me. The garden shed was designed around the windows and this door. Jean's cousin um, bought an old farmhouse and redid it and gave us all of these old windows out of his farmhouse. So we had collected those. And then this door, when they brought our house out, they brought an extra door and just left it here. So um, it's perfect for the garden shed and it matches the door on the front of the house. So I thought that was pretty cool. So we designed this whole garden shed around the windows and then it just kind of came together from there. Somehow I have lost all of my video footage of us building this garden shed, but I did find a few pictures. So I'm gonna post those now of uh, what it looked like as we were building it. Let's look at it a little bit closer. I got this cute little post office box from Petals. This is one of the new items that we've got in for spring and I'm in love with it. I love it. It opens up, this opens up, and it's a birdhouse. But is that not the cutest thing? I was a little leery about the white on white. I was thinking I might have to like scuff it up with a little paint with a little green or something, but I'm really kind of liking it. I like the white on white because it's a different shade of white. And let's see this, this concrete stand was at my mom and dad's forever and forever. And this is just a hopper tooth to pot. The gardens around the shed don't look that great right now. In the spring, they're really pretty. When it all grows and fills in, this is really gonna be sweet. 
So I've got the emerald green arborvitae there and there, just to kind of anchor it. And then I've got some um, boxwoods on each side. And then in the as the ground cover, I've just got thymes. And this is a Maybreeze phlox. It's white, it's so cute. And this rose that I've got climbing up here, it's gonna go up the trellis and over the little awning. It's gonna be beautiful when it when it starts growing and filling out. But this is Lamarck, Lamarck Rose. It's a white with like a creamy yellow kind of color to it. It's really a beautiful rose. Good climber. Okay, let's let's go to this side. So this is my little potting bench that Jean made me on the side here. And this sink came from some really precious friends of ours. Um, Bubba and Mama C is what we call them. She gave me this this sink. It's um it's an old like I don't know, porcelain, I guess. I guess it's like a porcelain sink or cast iron. I'm not sure, but it's awesome. She gave me this one right after we first bought the farm and I knew exactly that this was going to be my garden shed sink. And then Jean hooked me up a water catchment system here. The water's coming off of the gutters and the roof into my water catchment. And then he's got it hooked up to where I've got some running water to my sink. And then the water goes into this bucket and then I recycle it and use that to water plants or whatever. And then down here, I've just got my different stuff that I need. There's shavings, potting soil, um, some broken pieces of pottery. That goes in the bottom of uh, containers whenever I plant up containers. So this is the side of it here. Okay, this is the back of the garden shed. He made me this shelf up here so that I could have a good place to keep all of my uh, recycled pots organized and then I love this I absolutely love this organization so he made me like this little peg thing and all my tools can hang on the back of it and they're protected from the weather so they won't rust and stuff so I love that And then this, this is just like a little screen table and tools. This is my compost garbage can. So right now it's full of wonderful worm tea that has been brewing for a while. So I'm going to be using that on my plants here soon strawberries that I want to get in the ground, some different little trees I'm growing. Okay, let's go around to this side of the garden shed. And on this side, I have um, Annabelle hydrangeas planted. So that's Annabelle. And then that is a little dutzia. It's called Nico dutzia. It has a little white bloom in the spring. It's really pretty, like really, really pretty. So as you notice, all my plants also around are white. And what I wanted in my garden shed, there's not a lot of color. It's all pretty much whites, different shades of whites, different shades of greens 
and just a lot of texture and that's what I really so want. this is my table and my sit spot by the garden shed um, the same my same sweet friends that gave us the sink mama C and Bubba they had a concrete business and they were getting rid of it so they called me and told me I could come get whatever I wanted so we went over and this is the first thing that I saw was this table and I fell in love with it and I knew I had to have this one and Bubba said no you don't want that one that's just my old work table and it's all messed up and that's what I loved about it because I love I love all the um, the paint on it and I love the uh, texture I love all the texture on it um, where it's had spilt concrete and stuff so I love this table and I knew immediately that this table was gonna go by the garden shed. I didn't have the garden shed at that point. We had just bought the land, hadn't even moved down here yet. But I knew this was gonna be the table by my garden shed. This chandelier, I got it at the thrift store probably like 15 years ago. This thing has moved everywhere in different garden spaces. It was in my garden in Clanton. It's been in the secret garden over here in the woods when we first moved here. And I think I have found it's forever home here, right above my table. I love this table. I love this space. It's a great view of the Potage Garden, the house. It's, uh, I can sit here and see all the way down into the lower pasture. I can see the creek. I can see uh, the food plot down there. So I see deer in the afternoons. I can see um, all in the woods over here. It's amazing when you sit still and quiet, how much wildlife you actually will see. I love to come out here in the mornings with a cup of coffee and just pray and have some quiet time with God. And it's just one of my favorite spots. Bubba passed away a few months ago and these tables are pretty special to me. Okay, so this is the side and the back of the garden shed. And then we're back around to the front. Welcome to the garden shed. I laid all these bricks in here. We just put down sand, tried to level out the ground a little bit, put down sand, and then I just laid these bricks in this pattern, and then you come back and put the sand in between the spaces. And it's working okay. Um, my bricks move a little bit, and the sand kind of gets washed away. It probably would have been better if I would have like put the bricks in concrete or something so they'd be more stable. But it's okay, it works pretty good for me. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I think I'll start on this side. Jean made this little rack thing for me just so I could hang towels on to dry or um, I could uh, hang herbs up to dry or whatever. And these little things right here, I'm going to use to put my seed packets on after I plant them and date them. And this, my friend Holly Wadley that I work with at Petals, she gave me this for my birthday last year. And I love it. I love it. It's my color. And I think what it was, she found it somewhere. And I think what it was is a like a vent cover in a commercial type building or something that's what Gene said he thought it probably was but i think it's really cool and i'm just going to use it just to post notes on or quotes or whatever and then i took one of those broken butterflies that i've collected and just added it to it but i love this being there and Let's see, those flowers, they came from petals. Uh, they were rested and we had them on the half off table, so I just painted them. 
And these doves, my mom and dad gave me these doves a long time ago. Doves are my thing. So of course they have to live in my garden shed. And I've got my sun catchers here. My brother and his wife gave me the butterfly. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, I made this sign a long time ago. I found this cool dresser on the side of the road. So I stopped and got it and I just pulled the drawer fronts off of it and scuffed them up a little bit, painted them, um, and just went and bought these letters from Michaels and painted them and put them on there. Um, I made another one that's in my bathroom and it has like hardware on it to hold the towels. And everybody needs twine in a garden shed. Let's see what else. Some cool old doorknobs. Holly, the one that gave me this cool thing here, gave me this when we had our hippie camper and we used it outside on our little picnic table. You put a candle in it, it's really cool. And this old door, Jean just braced it for me and made me a little workstation out of it. And then of course my stool to sit at. Um, we got this old crate thing from a vintage pick and barn sale and I've just got moss in it. And then all the tools my tool bag and garden stakes, sign stakes and tools and plant markers and all that jazz that you need. All my terracotta pots. I used to have a lot more than that. I don't really know what happened to all of them. Then I've got this old Martin house up here. We found this at the vintage pick and barn sale too. I just haven't found a home for it yet in my garden, but as soon as I do, it'll be in the garden. Just bird feeders and wasp catchers and stuff like that. And then supplies, Epsom salt and tomato tone and stuff to take care of the animals, all that kind of stuff lives in here. This cool old table, I love this table. We had a sweet old friend that uh, lived next to us in Clanton and he gave me this table. His name is Mr. Smitherman and it's that laminate top. And he gave me this, he gave me this a long time ago and I cherish it because I dearly, dearly loved that man. Um, this old trunk I've got from a friend of mine named Tracy Buzzy. Um, I think it come out of her father's barn, I think is where it come from. I really can't remember, but I got that from her and I got this old wooden toolbox that I love. I got this from her too and I love it, love it, love it. I just got little hand tools in there and and my honey for sale sign came from my friend Kathy at work. She gave me that as a housewarming gift when we first moved here. And then I've just got some plants in here that I've been um, trying to overwinter. And this is my cinnamon tree. Isn't this thing cool? This is real cinnamon. It's the uh, Cylon Cinnamon, C-E-Y-L-O-N. I don't know, I'm probably not saying it right, but um, what you do is, is you just, you get the cinnamon from the bark. So you scrape the bark 
you like shave the bark and that's the cinnamon inside it. But it's not cold hardy, so it has to live in here during the winter, but it's doing really good. Um, I got these lantern things that pedals on the half off table. They're broken. Some of them's missing their glass and they're just broken, but um, I love them. Let's see. We got these cool old things from um, an antique store somewhere. I can't really remember what they are. Jean knows what they are, but they're like some kind of mechanical thing. I, I don't know what they are. But I'm going to get Jean to make us some light fixtures to go inside this garden shed whenever we get power out here. We're gonna run solar power. We've already got the solar panel and we've got the batteries. There's just one other thing we're missing. So we've got to get it and then we're gonna get solar out here. And when we do, I want Jean to make me some light fixtures out of these to hang from right there. Won't that be cool? Okay, this cool old window. Jean and I found this. We were antiquing one day. We went to Gulf Shores for our anniversary for the weekend one time. We like to go antiquing and just hunting for treasures. And we found this cool old window and it was like hardly nothing. It was really inexpensive. They gave us a good deal on it. And blue and orange really like is not my color. I don't have those colors like anywhere in my house or anything, but I loved this window and it was such a good deal. We couldn't pass up on it, so we got it. And I like it out here in my garden shed. I think it looks really neat. And that hummingbird feeder, it's a hand-blown hummingbird feeder. We sell these at Petals. And I got this for my dad for his birthday. He loved to watch birds out the window and to sit on the porch and watch his birds. And I got him this hummingbird feeder for his birthday, but I never did get to give it to him. He passed away right before his birthday, so I kept it. Um, let's see what else. And these are just different things I've collected along the way. This is off the half off table at Petals. And so is this, look at this. I love this glass house terrarium thing. Um, it's, it was on the half off table for, I don't know, probably a couple of years. And I just kept wanting it and kept wanting it, but I wouldn't get it because it was pretty expensive. So half off, it was still like $35, I think. And I just wouldn't do it. But finally last year, I broke down and I got it. And um, all I gotta do is just replace these glass. The glass is missing there and on this side. So all I gotta do is replace that. And I'm thinking about painting it white maybe and taking it in the house and making a cool little terrarium. But I love that thing. I'm excited to do something with it this year. And this old rusted chair and table, God, I've had this thing forever. One of these days, I'm gonna break down and sand it and paint it. But I like the rusty chippiness of it, but it's getting a little past the point. So I'm gonna have to do something with it. Then just my garden aprons, more cool things off the half off table. And my quote, I'm more myself in the garden than anywhere else on earth. And that is the absolute truth. These are my views out the window. So from this viewpoint, I can see the protege garden and the house. And from this window, I can see um, my little table and then I can see down into the field. And a lot of times I can see deer. I can watch deer from here. And then as we go around out this window, I can see the chicken coop. So those are my views inside the garden shed. 
Um, let me just try to give you an overall of the inside of the shed, if I can. Let's see. Make sure I haven't missed anything that's got a story. I love to see how people's got their garden sheds and greenhouses organized. All these treasures in here, all these all these things and pieces in here, I've collected for just years and years and years of just collecting these things. No, and one day I was gonna have my dreamy little garden shed. Oh yeah, my born to farm sign. Um, my sweet, sweet friend Debbie Wooten gave me that. I'm getting ready to sow some seeds. What I'm gonna do actually is, it's gonna be a while before we get to build the greenhouse, probably a few years. Um, so for right now, I'm gonna use this garden shed to start my seeds in. And what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm going to take this table and chair out move my tree and I'm gonna set up a little grow station right here between these windows. So I'm, um, I'm getting ready to revamp this a little bit. Champ's begging to get in here. Okay guys, so that is the inside of the garden shed. Look at Champ, he wants in here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of my garden shed. Hopefully it gave you some ideas or maybe inspired you in designing and creating your garden shed in your creative space. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Y'all have a beautiful day.